Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video is another episode of Will I Buy It? where we talk about the new and upcoming luxury beauty releases. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you wanna know what is new and upcoming on the luxury world, then just keep on watching. week since I haven't done a Will I Buy It video and honestly I want to bring to the table a few of the new and upcoming beauty releases. There are many on the luxury world that are mine but I'm not sure how interested you are on and honestly I just want to have a conversation. What you want to see here on my channel, if you want me to review it, if not, if you're interested, I want to know your opinion. I want to have that conversation so I think this is the perfect opportunity to do so and if you perhaps do not know who is the creator of the Will I Buy It videos, well, it's none other than the beautiful Samantha March. She's a beauty content creator here on YouTube. She has her Instagram platform. She has her TikTok platform too. And she's such a sweetheart. In fact, today I'm using her collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. Life is a draft is this palette right here, which is a gorgeous palette. But anyhow, friends, thank you so much to Samantha March for creating these type of videos. And also she has a community playlist where you can actually go and check out other creators that they do this type of videos so it's a lot of fun so i will be leaving all the details of her channel the community playlist on the description box below as well as all of the products that i will be talking about today and my makeup if there's room <laughs> now that i'm on this side right here let me grab my phone and i'm gonna go to my instagram so the first lunch that i want to talk about right here is the lunch that i think everybody we have been waiting for i mean everybody that we you know really admire Pat McGrath that we have a you know a substantial collection from Pat McGrath we have all been asking for blushes I mean also bronzers too why not but maybe perhaps that will be next year but at least oh if she delivered with blushes she did she is giving us nine blushes on the divine blush collection now this is a collection not only nine blushes but there's also an eyeshadow quad there's lip products there's a highlighter i mean it's a substantial collection right here and it seems that the collection is coming a little bit later on in may it seems like the date is may 21st do not call me out make sure you follow me on instagram because I always keep you posted and there's a new lunch coming up. I tell you the date. Also, I put it here on my community tab, but follow me on Instagram, please. <laughs> Do not miss it out right there. But anyhow, going back to, let's go first to the blushes. They come in different formulations. Some are demi mattes. Some of them, they do have kind of like a golden pearl. So some will have a little bit of radiance on the other ones. I like that they are not fully matte, but this demi matte look, which it will give you at the end, kind of like a natural look. So I really like that there's different variations right here. It seems like each blush they are gonna cost $38. Not 100% sure if that's the final price right there. Okay. I already picked up all the blushes from Hermes. I did a full on review, compared some swatches and whatnot, and I was really tempted to pick up the nine shades from Pat McGrath. But to be honest with you, this is a really amazing shade range. That being said, some of the shades are too deep for my complexion. So I think it will be wasteful, not only of money, time, you know, but also product and, you know, like just creating more waste than anything else if I buy all of them. So you have to let me know which shades you're more interested in. I tell you the ones that I feel like more attracted to. One of them is Nude Venus, which is a peachy pink, I love peachy pinks, with a golden pearl. It looks stunning. Then I really love the one in Cherish, which is a neutral pink. It's a demi matte finish. Then Desert Orchid, oh my gosh, <laughs> that looks gorgeous. It's a bronze rose with golden pearl. Call me please. And then I don't know what, Nymphed is very light, but I like it. It's a soft pink with golden pearl. And then I'm mean, like, I know two more right here. Electric Bloom, which is a vivid coral demi mat. That, that has to be mine, 100%. And I don't know why, but Paradise Venus, this terracotta demi mat. Terracotta tones, they look really well on me. And I mean, I don't know how is this formula, 
but if it's the typical blush formula in the sense that you can build it up, that you can go lightly, that they are not too powdery, it seems like right here that they may be a big chalet formula. I think I can have more control out of these products right here. So honestly, I'm a little bit of, <laughs> just a little bit confused. I don't know which ones to get, but those are the ones that are mine. Again, I would love to know from you what you want to see from me. Which shades are those that is like, you know, go for these. I want to see how it looks on you. As far as the eyeshadow quad, it looks stunning. It's called the Venus in Fleurs. I know it's very kind of common, bronzy tone, you know, nothing like, oh wow, this is out of the box, but I think a little bit out of the box from Pat McGrath because if we recall the Mothership palettes, she always has brought us lots of colors and then lately she has been on this pink and rosy kick and right now she's giving us some bronzy tones, so why not? And I really like the packaging. Then we have a highlighter, it's called the Divine Glow Highlighter, the Golden Nude Luminescence to Skin in a Hybrid Oil Infused Formulation. I love the formula from Pat McGrath, I don't know if this is a formula different from the other formulas that we have seen from Pat McGrath, don't know, it seems like it's a gorgeous type of highlighter. A little bit champagne, it seems a little bit more cooling tone or it perhaps is my idea, but I think I'm gonna pick that up. Then she's also bringing us a new matte trans lipstick in Dream Lover because it's a new one. I really wanna see swatches. I don't see swatches, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that one. Also the gloss in Earth Angel, oh yes. That has to be mine right there, love it. And on the collection, there are two shades of Lip Fetish, Divina Lip Shine in Divine Rose 2 and Flesh 7. I'm gonna skip on those. And then a Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil in Structure. I don't know if I have that one already. It seems like the name, I, I think I have it. I don't know, I, I mean, I, I don't have it right here in front of me to tell you 100% yes, but if I have it, obviously I will not pick it up. But yeah, I mean, definitely this lunch I'm super excited for. Now, let's go to Chanel. So Chanel is coming out with their very look after Le Beige collection 2021. Each year they do this collection. This collection is more, like the name says it, Le Beige, which is more neutral in tone, something more simplistic, something for every day, not so loud, not so there, not that Chanel is ever loud. <laughs> They are never loud. <laughs> in fact, that's that. But yeah, so here we go. This is that collection right over here. So it comes with two eyeshadow queens. Now, these queens right here, some people they like them, some people they don't. In the past, they had kind of like, I don't remember the names, but I think one was light, medium, and then the other one was deep. I don't even remember. But then last year, they came out with a peachy tone that is stunning. And every time that I have used that eyeshadow queen, everybody here on the channel, when I'm on site, they always compliment my eye look, always. And it's simple, but it's just so beautiful, mostly the shimmer shade. Now, these two, Although they are not, again, they are just very simple and perhaps I can dupe them on my collection. And honestly, I'm leaning more towards tender than intense, but I may end up getting both of them. I may have to go directly to the boutique and check it out right there. I know it's launching in boutiques on May 11th, so it's coming super, super soon. Perhaps sometimes we know that because of 2020, you know, everything launches has been a little bit weird for many different brands, not only Chanel, but sometimes on Chanel, you may be able to get the collection before the, you know, the launch date on their website. Again, I will keep you posted on that, but otherwise it will be at boutiques on May 11th. And then finally, the collection is coming with a healthy glow bronzing cream. Soleil Tan Deep Bronze, which is the deepest shade of that Soleil Tan de Chanel, which this one has been a beloved for many, for many, many years. But honestly, I have to say that the shade looks like a big jump from this shade right here. Don't you think? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, it feels like it's very, very deep. What about if they could have come out like, okay, the original that is called Universal, that there's no way that this particular one can be Universal no way Jose but I think they should have come out also with a medium and bronze I mean take the opportunity that you're already you know like doing this and also make it permanent I mean it doesn't say that it's limited edition though it's gonna cost $50 that 
that's kind of like the price also um by the way the eyeshadows they're gonna cost 65 dollars so that's that right there and then the collection also is going to come with the rouge coco flash four different shades john sand bean which are the lightest one john is kind of like a nudie shade sand bean a more corally shade peachy coral flame and heat they are more on the red side I think I'm gonna pick up Dawn and Sandin. I wish though that they could have done instead of the Rouge Coco Flash, which are great to do the Rouge Coco Bloom because the Rouge Coco Blooms, they are just so, I mean, like, so pigmented, so beautiful. They are the new formula from Chanel. I'm like, why not? But definitely I'm thinking to pick up Dawn and Sandin. And then there are four different nail polishes. And I have always told you guys that I really am not the person to use pearlized nail polishes usually my nail polishes are you know not matte matte but just a flat color not like no sparkles no glitters i'm not that adventurous <laughs> i do different shades though but these ones right here i'm like hmm these are maybe so i'm thinking about glimmer and golden sun and perhaps sunlight I don't know i mean like they look very pretty and i have seen images of people holding the actual nail polish with a nail polish on their hand and they look very pretty so that's that with this collection i mean very much a chanel levage i mean like very soft sophisticated very classic nothing loud and whatnot but then if we see this next lunch for summer 2021 from chanel it's like wait a second getting a little bit bolder right here <laughs> yes this collection is gonna come out i think it's early june i think it's early june there's gonna be two eyeshadow quads one is called the lumières and vibrations it has a beautiful golden tone with a little bit of burgundy what is this like rose gold i mean don't get me wrong that's pretty i mean it's more common but we didn't receive the spring collection from chanel unfortunately and there was a beautiful quad right there called golden meadow i mean like i think it was golden meadow i have been eyeing that one for so long i know that i could have got my hands on it through a friend in europe but yeah <laughs> I know, I know, I don't know if to do it or not, but it looks so, so super pretty. So I think I'm gonna get actually both of these quads right here. The other one is called Los Yeux and Zervani. And this is something that we have been all waiting for from Chanel, something on the kind of like purpley tones because they have done so much pinks and reds i mean like way too much at the point that we were all like this is it so i'm definitely picking up the two quads or so i think <laughs> they honestly look more to me more than summer i mean they feel more like um a more you know like party time summer kind of eyeshadow not that they have to be but that's the way that i will use it not party necessarily but more like evening time for my point of view also with this collection there are seven new stilo you waterproof now these are beautiful you can use it as an eyeshadow like an eyeliner and these seven different shades they all look very pretty i think if i was gonna pick one up will be the 54 rose couvre i think that's the only one that i will pick up perhaps 36 pruning tents the blue one looks fantastic too but honestly i don't use blue so often mm, i don't know there are many different shades right here seven of them so don't know perhaps yes perhaps no don't know and then they are re-promoting the volume de chanel which i already have so i'm not gonna pick that up the stilo u waterproof liners they are 34 dollars each and then the eyeshadow palette 62 dollars each okay moving on right here to tone four so tone four i don't know what they are thinking to bring this out right here this is called the cognac rose eye color quad i know hmm. <sighs> okay this is his wet and dry formula that i absolutely love great formulation from tone four but why it seems like they are repeating the shades they are mixing in a pod you know existing shades that they have and just put it in a quad it's like what are you doing right here i mean this looks like a mixture between suspicion honeymoon perhaps i don't know it just feels like i have seen these shades you know but in another palette so why would i justify to pick up this one i like it 
but as a person that has so many tone four watts, I'm not sure if it's okay to add it to my collection. I will only add it if you tell me, hey, I want you to review it, I want you to compare it to such, such, such quads, and then we take it from there because, I mean, at the end, I know I'm gonna use it because I love them for, but mm, I just feel really bad because, and, and the thing that really bothers me is that they call it cognac rosé. What about if they were to do cognac rosé and they would have brought back Cognac Sable, which is such a gorgeous eyeshadow quad, but in the wet and dry formula, can you imagine that? That would have been such a huge hit. I'm like, why then don't do that? Bring back Cognac Sable in the wet and dry formula, it will be sold out right away. Sold out right away. Even if you're thinking, okay, I just wanna, you know, I don't wanna think about creating another color story, but just bring back something that a lot of people love and a lot of people miss out. Now, we don't have a day for this release. I'm not upset with Tom Ford. There's like a couple other Tom Ford launches coming really soon too that I'm, you know, keeping my eye on it. But yeah, that's that right there. I will pick it up if you tell me that you want. <laughs> see it okay and here to lisa elridge in fact i'm using a lipstick from lisa elridge it is velvet wait a second velvet affair yeah velvet affair i have it right over here let me show it to you it's this baby right here it's a cool tone shade super beautiful and then on top i do have one of her glosses I love Lisa Elridge and I'm just super excited for this lunch right here. So May 15, mark your calendars. She's coming with blushes and highlighters. They seem to be both liquid formulas. The highlighters are gonna be $38. I don't know if they are highlighters. They are called the Elevated Glow Highlighter. Hopefully she's bringing a few shades, at least four shades. That will be, you know, like ideal or three shades. And then enveloping blushes. For thirty-four dollars, right now the image only shows one blush. Again, hopefully she bless us with at least three to four blushes. Hopefully, I don't know. Oh, but here, okay, reading a little bit on the bottom says the highlighter comes in four skin adaptive sheer tones. Awesome that they will give a glow to the skin. They have a skincare hybrid with blurring, tightening, and moisturizing properties. Oh wow. That's great. And then the blushes will be available in six different shades. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. There's also going to be a restock of the Gloss Embrace Lip Glosses, which I tell you, amazing glosses. So pretty. And then she's adding four new shades for summer, including Sunbear, which is a light beige putty pink, and a charm shimmery pink. I have to see those. We, we I don't see any like you know such as right here if by the time that i edit this video i see them i will put it up here and then the luxurious loosened lip color for 36 dollars this is coming back as well okay i'm super happy for lisa what she's bringing back to us i really love 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 her products i mean she's such a classy gorgeous lady a makeup artist with so much talent I mean, she's just an institution and I just cannot wait to see this collection right here. So congratulations to Lisa. Okay, friends, sorry, a little bit changed the scenario right here, but I have been pre-recording because Mother's Day is coming. So, uh, and then there's a couple few releases that just came out. So I said, you know what, let me just put them in right now. Okay, so there's one by Natasha Denona. The Zendo palette is a midi palette, which is gonna cost $65. I think it comes with 15 different shades. It's already on pre-order by from Natasha Denona's website. I will be leaving all the details in the description box below. So I have already pre-ordered it from Natasha Denona's website. Now it's not gonna be cheap right away. The day of the launch is basically when they cheap. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will highly suggest you to do so because I will let you know whenever the product is launching. In fact, I have all the dates and everything, but I love the palette. I couldn't resist. I mean, like, I will be reviewing it no matter what. I know it looks a little bit like a mix of the Sunrise palette and perhaps the Tropics palette. I would love to know from you which palettes you want me to compare it to you know i think that's super important but i love the blues i love the gold tones i love i know it's worn but it's 
perfect for summer this is our summer release and i'm just super excited for it it will be available later on this month on sephora's website and whatnot again i will keep you posted on absolutely everything moving on from natasha denona let's talk about victoria beckham beauty she has been teasing us with these duo bronzers so she finally launched them they are available right now at her website i'm sure they will be coming to retailers that carry victoria beckham beauty hopefully soon they come in five different shades and they look so inclusive which makes me super super happy i mean the shade range is beautiful first i ordered the shade number two but then i went back again and ordered the shade number three <laughs> ask me why but anyhow let me know if you want to see a dedicated review just to those dual bronzers they are a matte formulation or if you want me to just use it on like a try on haul of different products and we kind of like take it from there but i'm definitely really excited about this lunch from victoria beckham beauty i mean they look stunning and i love again the inclusivity also i will be leaving a link on the description box below but if you go through the link it will give you a 10 percent off just wait like three seconds it will pop up on your screen on your computer and then you can use that 10 percent off and make your purchase not only of the bronze in duos but whatever else you want which i love victoria beckham beauty and then from bobby brown we finally see the pink glow collection which comes with the looks quad which are basically the looks eyeshadows that they come in singles which they are amazing quality they give you this kind of like metallic look very alike to like a pat mcgrath kind of formulation they are also made in italy they're stunning and i think the quad itself is of an amazing value because if you were to buy each eyeshadow in singles it will cost you a pretty penny right there other than that the collection also comes with a liquid highlighter i decided to pass on that one because again the lisa elrich liquid highlighters they are gonna come and i'm planning to purchase them so i don't want to you know like overspend i mean like everything of this is expensive right but there's also a highlighter in a compact form as well as a lip balm i don't know if two or one but again i will be leaving all the details in the description box below i will say for this collection random walk at least for the look squad if you have an eye net it's an excellent value again and the holiday one sold out like super fast okay friends and now let's go back to the regular setting for my will i buy it video and yeah i mean at least i'm trying to keep you informed right here and then let's move on right here to valentino beauty so this is gonna come on may 31st which is the date of my anniversary. I know, my wedding anniversary. <laughs> yes, and they are gonna come first to Selfridges and then they will be available for pre-orders on USA on June 1st, while the international release is on August 2021. Okay, friends, and listen, they are gonna come with 40 different foundation shades. It doesn't say anything right here about the formula, but hey, you're coming with a new beauty line and your boom straight for foundation i really want to see that i want to see if it's going to be like a kind of like natural finish if it's going to be um more kind of like luminous finish or if it's going to be a matte finish hopefully it's more into the natural luminous finish that's my favorite one because you can always modify with a, you know with a powder but enough that would be that and then 50 lipsticks oh my goodness no i'm not gonna buy 50 lipsticks but yes i would like to try valentino obviously we need to see more right here there's no much it seems by the images there could be a blush too because of the powder and then the graphic eye kind of look right there it seems like perhaps liners i don't know i mean this is I mean, I'm curious about Valentino and see what they are bringing to the table. Obviously, I would love to see the packaging, the price point and all of that. Hopefully, in a way that they are not up high as Hermes and that they could price it a little bit more kind of like Chanel, you know, something along those lines. But I mean, I will have to see the entire collection. And then Dior has come out with three new queens. So we know that they have reformulated so many different queens. The first one, it is this pink glow queen that looks like a peach glow queen. <laughs> I decided to skip on it, although I love peach. I don't know why, but mm, this one wasn't calling my name at all whatsoever. And then there are two other queens that they just launched. 
in the shades 429 Toilet du Jour and then 439 Copper. I'm very attracted to the 439 Copper, but I know I have so much, so many other eyeshadow queens and quads that they look so much alike to this copper one that really I couldn't justify it. Mostly knowing that there are so many other new releases coming, I feel like, okay, I love the Dior Queens, but I don't know if this will make such a difference on my collection for me to get them. I'm really excited for the fall collection, you know, that one I really wanna get. So I decided to hold on my horses right there, but if you wanted to see them, all the three queens right here, they are here and they are available again right now. And then we have right here new Dior Luminizers and I'm not talking about the new Dune Dior Luminizers, the ones from the Summer 2021 collection. These are the ones that they come, the Dior Forever quilted packaging, the one that we see in the new bronzers. They're gonna be, I think, eight different shades. They are highlighters. Perhaps we're gonna see blush or they could be a hybrid for blushes. Right now we see two shades on this image, but I have seen them all. And there are some gorgeous ones, some coral tones, some deep pink, some cooler tones, some icy ones too. So wait and see, because these highlighters look promising and I'm not planning to pick them all up, but at least I will get one to two the lunch date it's coming soon it's coming soon so let's keep our eyes open but yeah at least i will get at least two now another exciting news right here is christian louboutin is coming out with their beauty line i mean they already have a beauty line with the lipsticks the nail polishes and whatnot but right now we're talking about three different eyeshadow palettes each of them come with six different eye shades and then also kind of like a blush and highlighter palettes also three of them i have to tell you that i do not like the packaging this looks like a mix i mean like between the outer packaging i know it's very edgy and perhaps trendy with the stats and you know like very on brand but I don't know why I don't like it. I don't know. And then on the inside, the embossing of each of the eyeshadows is kind of to me like a hybrid between Jeffree Star and Lady Gaga's House Laboratories um, makeup line. <laughs> kind of like hybrid right there between both of them. And that's why I'm like, it doesn't look... It doesn't look luxurious. And knowing how much they charge for one lipstick. I can only imagine how much they want to charge for these. I mean, like, I'm gonna try it perhaps out of curiosity. Let's see. But looking at, to the swatches, they don't look any spectacular. I mean, they look, they don't look like any, like, wow. If you see the swatches on the arms, I mean, I think I appreciate that they are realistic, but they are not knocking my socks, <laughs> you know? So I'm thinking perhaps out of the two top eyeshadow palettes, perhaps the one that has kind of like the two pinky gold tone and then a deep brown, perhaps that one, not the one that has the black, and then perhaps the one at the bottom, maybe. But honestly, like I said, I don't, I don't see anything special about them. And then as far as the blushes and highlighter goes, I like, I mean, all of them, they look pretty. I will say perhaps I will get one from the top one, one that has that peachy, corally tone, and then the one at the bottom looks really pretty for kind of like fall time. But, I mean, <laughs> honestly, not 100% sure because like I said, I'm, I don't feel like this is, I don't know if also like the eyeshadow pots, it seems like there's a lot of like empty space not being used. I mean, the proportion of it, it just looks not up to scale or it's just simply the packaging, but it's not like, wow, this is for me. Let me know what you think about it, please. Okay, friends, and I think this makes it for this Will I Buy It video. I would love to hear from you. Again, let me know what will be helpful for you to see here. What review you wanna see, which other products that I haven't mentioned also today you would like to see my opinion on or that you're just simply interested on. Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity 
opportunity and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye.